Sunflower. We're we'll talking to you about sunflowers today. Hello everyone, Papa Blue Shirt here. You ever wondered if you could grow cheap bird seed? Stay tuned and I'll let you know what I found out. A while back I bought a 50 pound bag of sunflower seeds and they were bird seed and I I wondered what was the difference between those cheap sunflower seeds and the microgreen seeds that you buy and so I wondered if you could actually grow them I didn't know if they were treated with anything and, and so everyone kind of has this ideal that uh, that you can't grow cheap sunflower seeds but I wanted to find out for myself and that's one thing we do here at Papa Blue Shirt we try things for ourselves. Maybe people didn't try it a certain way or something, you know? This is what we did. I took a half a tray and planted it in sunflowers. And as you can see there, they're coming up beautiful. As you can see, most of the seed holes are down. And I think the key for making this work is to plant them deep. If you plant them deep, then the, the seed has a lot more time to get the seed hole off. I think another key is the fact that we have worms in our trays and those seed holes that are underneath there those worms they process them now they might not eat the seed hole in the amount of time that is growing in here but i guarantee you that they eat the mold and everything that's on the seed hole so answer the question can you grow cheap bird seed the answer is yes you can sprouts just like any other seed i'm not telling you to grow them that way this is just what i've done i planted them about an inch and a half deep when they come up most of the holes were gone there was there's a few on here but most of the holes stayed underneath the ground and i'm confident that the worms are going to to uh, work that so now when i harvest these i'll just make sure that we you know triple wash them i think they're the same seeds that's my own personal opinion i heard a while back a guy asked this other guy how does he sell his seeds so cheap he, he said the reason he could sell them so cheap is that the all they are is bird seed and so if you're buying from someone that's not real profitable, you, you may be buying birdseed anyway. But anyway, that's what we found out. And like I said, I'm not t telling you to grow them that way. This is just this is just what I have found out. I'm going to I'm going to continue doing this experiment here and see how it w works out. But now these I didn't put I didn't put no weight on them. I didn't uh, keep them in the dark because they were under an inch and a half of dirt anyway. So I just grew them like you would be planted in your garden. And uh, as you can see, they're not real tall, but you know, the thing you want to eat anyways is the leaves. <laughs> so the stock don't have a whole lot of taste in it. So anyways, there you go. The answer to the question, yes, you can grow birdseed. These are the black, the black oil sunflower seeds, just like you buy for microgreens. And the seeds, that they grow with no problem at all. Now, if you're, if you're growing them for your market or something like that, I wouldn't do it, you know. But uh, for your own use, I don't see no problem in it. I think having the worms in the tray is the key. I haven't had any problems with mold, but I devised the system to where once I plant my seeds on top of the compost, I then put seed starter on top. And what that does is seals all that down. And so during the, the course of events, the worms, they go up and they eat all that stuff. And so we haven't had no problems with it. And I got trays here that are two and a half months old. And the soil looks way better than it did when I put it in because the worms have been have been working on it the whole time. So Papa Blue Shirt has found a way to do it, to take away the, your problems with mold. And uh, I'm going to do a little advertisement here. <laughs> I love these bootstrap trays. If you're looking for some good trays, I'll have a link in the description. I'm trading out all my old trays. I don't like my old trays. You know, our trays are a little heavier because we have worms in them. And those old black trays, they don't hold up very well at all. They always break right where you put your finger to open them up to put the water in. Right there, they just crack. And, and so they don't hold up very well. But now these, these bootstrap, I mean, here's a full tray filled to the max. And there's no flex, none, no flex whatsoever. I can barely hold it up because it's so heavy. But there's no flex. We really love these bootstrap farmer trays. It's about time someone gets something in the... In the mix that uh, has a little bit of quality they got a whole bunch of different colors so i'll leave a link in the description and once you use these you'll you won't never go back i'm telling you just take my word for it you'll use them and you'll say wow how did i ever make it without them and so i as you see i got some up here that i'm getting ready to, to plant i had them on my wish list for christmas and i said i ain't waiting i'm gonna i took it off my wish list and i'm i'm trading them all out the sunflowers that i used are uh, from uh, tractor supply I noticed they're on sale today 
$9.99 for 40 pounds. So if you live near a tractor supply, you can get them really cheap. They're usually $13.99, so that's, that's even a good deal. And I looked into it, and they're non-GMO, and they're processed in a food-grade facility. And they said they put nothing in them. They don't treat the seeds. They don't do nothing to it. They're just straight sunflower seeds. Everyone is always afraid that, you know, you're going to get poisoned or something from these bird seeds. At least this particular brand, Royal Wing. And you get it at your tractor supply store. They do have, they do do online typing. You might be able to get it for a halfway decent price. And uh, they said it was non-GMO and processed in a food grade facility. So, uh, and they don't add anything to sunflowers. They said they're so natural that they have to use a very tight woven bag to keep insects and things out of it uh, because they don't treat their seeds or nothing. So it's straight sunflower seeds. So it'd be like you going out in your garden growing a sunflower and getting the seeds from it so there's nothing wrong with it as far as i'm concerned you can make up your own decision you can do your own research on it but for ten dollars for 40 pounds <laughs> uh, versus you know 18 dollars for a pound or whatever it is yeah it's quite a saving and so for growing for your home use yeah you know growing for market i don't know about that you know you'd have to make your own conclusion about that but for your home use i don't see no problem with it and so that's what i'm doing but you'd have to make up your own decision on that from all the research that i looked at uh, they're nothing but sunflower seeds all these people are so afraid they're going to get something from it you know they're not going to put anything more on it than they have to because they want to make money you know selling them for ten dollars for a 40 pound bag they're not making a whole lot anyways by the time they do the shipping and everything so uh, they said they were just straight sunflowers and they're non-gmo so they're probably all made in the same factory and and uh they send one off to make $18 a pound and the other one they sell for $9 for 40 pounds. So, but like I said, you'll have to make your own, your own decision about that. It's up to you. That's just what I'm doing. I'm growing my own. I plant them in the soil. So anything that would be on the seed, if there was anything would be in the soil. So, and the worms would take care of that. So that's just what Papa Blue Shirt's doing. You make up your own mind, you know, what you want to do. All of a sudden I disappear and I'm gone. Then you'll know what happened, right? <laughs> Oh, uh, no. Anyways, that's what I'm doing. And if it can save you some money, if you want to try it, you can go ahead and try it. You know, it's up to you. Anyways, this is Papa Blue Shirt. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.